SEO is completely changing and thankfully, it's changing in a way that actually gives you a stronger advantage than you even know. While most businesses are panicking about losing Google traffic to AI, a small group of smart business owners figured out how to pivot their strategy toward AI to get tools like ChatGPT, Perplexity, Gemini, even Google's own AI mode to recommend their business when people ask for suggestions. And here's the crazy part. Customers coming from AI recommendations are worth 4.4 times more than regular Google clicks. But almost nobody knows how to tap into this gold mine yet. But stick with me to the end and you will. In this video, I'll show you exactly how AI SEO is different from traditional Google SEO and why it's the better opportunity. What specific content you need to add to your website to get AI tools recommending your business specifically and what you need to do on other websites around the web to amplify that signal so it can work even harder for you. Now to start, you need to understand just how big this shift actually is and how people are changing with the way they look for businesses like yours online. So last month I had this big project, we're up here on my rooftop and my pergola needed to be completely repainted. And honestly, the idea of going to Google and just having to sift through all those painting companies trying to figure out which ones were actually good, you know, reading through a bunch of reviews, not really knowing what to even base my decision on, it was way more work than I had time for. So rather than doing that whole Google dance, I instinctively just opened up ChatGPT and I told it exactly what I needed done, what was important to me, like, you know, someone who had experience on rooftops and wouldn't leave a mess. And I asked it for its best recommendations. And instead of getting a list of blue links that I had to open up one by one and investigate myself, ChatGPT just gave me three really solid recommendations with specific reasons why each one would be a good fit for my project. So I called all three of them, I got a bid from each of them, and I ended up with a really great contractor and a pretty nice looking pergola. And it's not just me that's going in this direction. So people are starting to trust AI tools way more than traditional Google searches now because they feel like AI is giving them you know, objective, unbiased results. Plus, when someone uses AI search, they're completing their entire buyer's journey right there in the chat from I have a problem to here's the exact solution I need. And studies are showing that customers coming from AI recommendations are worth 4.4 times more than Google clicks because they're already pre-sold on why that business is the right choice. This creates a huge opportunity for businesses that figure out AI SEO first. We are right in the middle of a blue ocean opportunity here. And what I'm about to show you can actually start working right away. You can start getting traffic from AI tools in days, not months or the years that it would take for traditional SEO. So what exactly makes AI SEO different from the Google SEO that you're used to? Well, first, AI SEO doesn't rely on keyword phrases like traditional SEO does. So don't worry about, you know, picking out the exact right word that you want to rank for or how many times you're using a particular phrase on your site. The AI is just smart enough to work it out. So it just thinks much more like a person than how Google thinks and arranges and sorts information. Second, AI tools know a lot about the person that's asking for recommendations, like you know their age, location, what they've talked about before. And it just knows that through the conversations it's already had. So when your ideal customer asks for help, you want the AI to think this person sounds exactly like the type of customer your business is perfect for. That means you need to know your ideal customer really well so that you can write about serving people just like them. So just think through who you do your very best work for, things like their age, where they live, and especially the big problems you can solve for them. Third, everything you're gonna write should be written conversationally. So while most of this isn't designed to be read by actual people, AI models actually prefer human sounding content to pass along to their users. So skip all the corporate jargon and just write it like you would speak it. And luckily AI can help you do that. You don't need to write this all yourself. Just ask it to write conversationally at a seventh grade level. That's what I found works best here. Fourth, most of the content you're gonna be writing shouldn't be written in first person from you, the business owner. It needs to sound less biased in the voice of an expert in the field writing about you as their top choice. And finally, there will naturally be a lot of overlap in the content that I'm gonna go over in a second, but don't worry about duplicate or thin content. 
AI tools don't care about those things like Google does. You just need to focus on being helpful, specific, and brief. But the biggest difference between AI SEO and traditional SEO is where it fits into your overall sales funnel. You know, traditional SEO was usually about writing blog posts that answered informational questions like how to train your puppy or the best way to get clients from LinkedIn. Those are considered top of funnel questions that you could answer and hopefully get people to read more and more of your content until they were ready to actually hire you to train their puppy for them or optimize their LinkedIn profile for better lead generation. But with AI SEO, the game here isn't to answer those type of informational questions. AI is just gonna do that itself now. So the questions that you wanna focus on here are those bottom of funnel buyer intent type questions like which business is the best you know, pergola painter, for instance. So the goal here really is to train the AI platforms that you're the best, fill in the blank, business in your category. All right, now let's get into the actual playbook here. And by the way, this is a real playbook you can download and follow along with as a checklist. Just go to the link below in the description to get your own copy of it. Now, just like with traditional SEO, there's really two ways to split up the work. You have on page, which is stuff that you put on your website, and off page, which is everything else that you're gonna do around the web. So let's just start with on page here. These are all the new things that you wanna make sure are on your website so that the AI can easily find the information and use it to recommend your business. So the first thing you wanna create are what I call best fit briefs. These are just really short posts that position your business as the best choice for you know, various situations. And the reason you wanna do this is to spoon feed AI all the circumstances and situations where your company should be the top choice. Now I would have the headline phrased as a question asking for a recommendation. For example, who's the best artificial turf installer in Las Vegas? Just try to brainstorm as many specific situations and requests you can think of that would lead to AI recommending you. So use ChatGPT to help you brainstorm more if you're stuck. Put each question as the headline, then answer it really simply and just include the features and the benefits that you bring to the table that make it a no-brainer. Include a real testimonial or multiple testimonials if they help back up your claim for that specific question. And since AI tools really prefer those short to the point answers over fluff, keep each one of these brief and conversational. Okay, but where should you put these best fit briefs on your website? This and just about everything else we're gonna talk about can easily be added to your website's blog section. So each brief would be its own short blog post. And I would definitely recommend moving your blog link down to the footer of your site where it's less likely to be picked up and read by human visitors, but the AI is still gonna really be able to easily find all this new content. Next up is your top reasons series. Now, this creates clear structured content that AI can easily pull from when making recommendations. So just make a list of all of your services and then you wanna write an article for each titled top reasons to choose your business for the service you offer. And it really just needs to be a simple list of the top five to 10 reasons why you're the best choice for that service. You wanna include things like features you offer, benefits, pricing, anything that you could argue makes you the best in that category. And again, get ChatGPT to help you if you need help brainstorming and actually writing these. And you do just wanna write one of these for each of your services. If you're a local business that works with customers in person, you also wanna add in strategic service or city posts. These help you dominate those local AI search results for specific service and location combinations. So here's what you wanna do. First, make a simple spreadsheet of all your services along the top, then all the cities you service along the side. Then you're just gonna make a post for every one of these combinations. And you wanna title them something like best service in city, and then write your business's name. Write a paragraph or two explaining why you're the best business in that area in third person, almost as an independent expert, not as the business owner. And again, you wanna include any relevant testimonials or case studies of anyone you helped with that service in that city. Now, will the content be super similar within each service from city to city? Yes, and like I said, that's completely fine. Okay, next, for each service you provide, you wanna create a really simple structured comparison table between you and your 
three to five biggest competitors where you come out ahead as the clear winner. And the reason this works so well is because this is just the exact kind of deep research that AI tools can really grab onto when helping people make decisions. Now, don't lie about yourself or your competitors to make this happen. Just try to be clever and steer the edge toward you in as many of the categories as makes sense. You can use categories like pricing, features, benefits, you know, whatever makes sense. So you wanna title this something like, who's the best fill in the blank service, a full comparison. So you wanna do it for every major service you provide. Now let's talk about a few key pages that your website should probably already have, but if you don't have them, you just wanna add them as pages, not as articles or posts or you know blog posts, because your clients would expect to see these pages and they'll really help with conversions anyway. In other words, these are for the AI, but they're also for people actually coming to your site who are trying to vet you out. So first you need an FAQ page. So this makes it really easy for AI to find clear answers about your business when making recommendations. So have a dedicated page answering as many questions as possible that people are gonna have when they're deciding if they wanna work with you or not. Second, you want a case studies page. So case studies show real proof of results that AI can reference when explaining why someone should choose you. So tell the stories of some of the best transformations you've made for your customers. Include things like the services you gave them, where they were before they found you, and then ultimately how their situation was made better after you did your thing. And you do wanna lead with your best ones, but you can you know, add as many as you want over time the more the merrier here. Third, testimonials. So reviews and testimonials are a huge factor when AI tools are deciding who to recommend. So if you already have reviews on you know, review sites, it's pretty easy. Just grab all the positive testimonials you can from all those places, Yelp, Google reviews, your Facebook page, anywhere that people leave them online. And then you just wanna paste them onto a dedicated testimonials page on your site. And it's important to lead with the very best ones that really tell a good story of transformation, but then after that, just add as many as possible. I'd also recommend including a little line below the headline about how many reviews you have and your average star rating, you know, assuming it's good. And finally, you want a pricing page. So both your customers and AI expect to see this information when making recommendations. Not only do your customers expect to see it on your site, you better believe some people will specifically be asking about it and using it as a decision factor when they're looking for those recommendations. So it's best not to hide it. You can even just list ballpark ranges or starting at prices if you you know bid on jobs and you can't list out hard prices. Just give them some kind of an indication. And just make sure the rest of your website does a really good job of highlighting your unique selling points. You know, the things that make your business special, like the benefits you offer that your competition doesn't, or at least the benefits that you offer that they don't talk about. Now let's talk about the off-page stuff, right? This is where AI SEO gets really different from traditional SEO, and honestly, it's way better news for small businesses. Because with traditional SEO, you had to get a bunch of high authority websites to actually link back to your site. And by high authority, I mean, you know, websites that Google considered to be super reputable, were around a long time, and they had strong track records. It was honestly the hardest part about SEO. You know, trying to convince a bunch of big websites to link to you when you're just a small business, it was always pretty rough. But here's the thing about these AI tools. They care way more about just how the internet is talking about your business does not matter if the sites are linking to you or not. They're just pulling information from all over the place, Reddit, Quora, review sites, social media, basically anywhere that people are discussing businesses like yours. And this is great news because it's so much easier to get mentioned in places like those than it ever was to get backlinks from big blogs. The first thing you need to do is get yourself mentioned everywhere you possibly can. So AI tools learn about businesses from all the different directories and platforms. So you wanna claim and fill out every single profile that makes sense for your business. I'm talking Google Business Profile, Bing Places, Better Business Bureau, you know, make a LinkedIn company page, all of your social media profiles, and make sure you actually fill out those about sections. Don't just leave them blank. Then you wanna list yourself on every major directory that applies to your industry. So Yelp, Angie, HomeAdvisor, 
whatever makes sense for your industry, right? And if you're a local business, find those business directories in your city and list yourself there too. Now, this does sound like a lot of work and it can be, but there is a tool called Yext that can actually distribute all of your information across hundreds of these kinds of platforms all at once. And that's gonna save you a lot of time. Next up, you wanna get as many five-star reviews as possible. So the number of reviews you have and your average star rating has a really big impact on whether AI tools recommend you or not. And unfortunately, most AI tools seem to be favoring Yelp reviews right now. And I say unfortunately, because I actually hate Yelp as a company. The way that they show or hide reviews as a tool to get you to buy advertising is really problematic but it is what it is. So do not pay for their advertising. Seriously, don't even answer their phone calls, but do try to play by their rules and just get more of your happy customers to leave reviews there. Okay, so this is one of the highest leverage things you can do to help AI recommend you. You know, all those tools pull really heavily from articles that round up the best businesses in different categories. So if there's an article titled, best contractors in Phoenix, and you're mentioned in it, AI is way more likely to recommend you when someone asks for a contractor recommendation. So you can do things like, you know, reach out to bloggers and journalists who write these kinds of articles and pitch why you should be included. And they don't even need to link to you, remember, just getting your business name mentioned is valuable on its own because that's what the AI is reading. And if you can't get featured through, you know, reaching out to people, there are SEO services that can get articles placed on blogs for you for a fee. Or you can even write your own best of list with your business as the top choice, then use a press release service to get it distributed to all the major websites like NBC, CBS, Fox. Just make sure it feels somewhat newsworthy or it might get rejected. And speaking of press releases, you can use this same strategy to get mentions for other things too. So, you know, write articles about success stories with your customers, announce new services that you're offering or an award you won. The whole point is just to get your business name mentioned across the web as many times as possible as a top choice in your category. Now there's a lot to do here, but I've got you covered. So I want you to download the full playbook right here so you can just go piece by piece in whatever time you have and know that you're maximizing your effort. So just click right here and I'll send you your free copy of my AI SEO playbook right away.